Hi all. Um, it looks like we're getting close to uh, the end game um, with my uh, little project to build a uh, 360 camera system for fun uh, and maybe later on become a product, I don't know yet. Um, so here's uh, a picture as you can see of the, uh, it's a Shapeways 3D print. So uh, we tried experimenting with a friend of mine um, who's got a 3D printer for desktop stuff. It's just, just not really up to the job as far as I'm concerned. Um, so uh, the design went for a couple of, we tried the um, the SJ4000s in a uh, six way rig, which didn't really work too well because of the lack of field of view and vertical. Um, I actually turned that into a live system, which I'll talk about shortly, um, which I'm actually really excited about. That's the, actually the one I'm really kind of excited about but I, I thought I'd, this was the ultimate aim was to build something like what you can see here on the, on the right which is the um, uh, a very very cheap GoPro setup a bit like the uh, the Freedom which is a, a great product but um, your budget has to stretch a bit um, so uh, I think this has come quite nicely anyway um, so let's have a little bit of a quick recap where we started off um, you can see this is the last one I last system I made. Um, it was well, let's get fun. <laughs> let's get, that's how it actually started. There was two fan, two f two fan holders with a bunch of these cameras wrapped round. But I had the problems sixteen nine aspect ratio and so on. It was a bit of a nightmare. I think the cameras the SJ four thousand were nice, a little bit more saturated, but I I still I have to say still quite like them. And the SJ, uh, I'm still using SJ4000, uh, in fact the Wi-Fi versions, to film everything you're going to see here now. So um, I, I still like them a lot. Um, that's the cat disappearing. Um, so you can see I had some sample shots. You can see these were, these were quite nice. Um, and you can see on this site, if you, if you go to the vreexperience.net, you can actually have a good look at this story and see what happened. You can see here that basically I was getting the horizontal okay, but I wasn't getting tops, and it was just an absolute nightmare. So I ended up building this monstrosity, um, which uh, really, really didn't <laughs> it was fun, but it really didn't work very well. And then I went up to the 12 camera system, and um, in, in the end, that whilst that was quite good, and I know someone else actually had a bit more like a bit, uh, a couple of people been in touch with me. One guy in particular, he's been building a system like this. Um, I can't remember his name now, but um, he he uh, he's actually been having some good success with it. So good luck to him. Um, but obviously, what I wanted to do was actually I did want to build a, a proper six-way rig. Anyway, this has now become um, my live rig, which I'm going to change the design to make that a little bit cheaper. But if I put in SJ uh, four thousands around, ignore the ones on the top, um, just the horizontal ones with six cameras. Um, you can make a live system. Now, it doesn't work with the Xiaomi, so um, not without a lot of extra hardware, um, which kind of defeats the whole object. But I don't even think the GoPro can do the live system without spending a fortune. Um, I, I, I'm not going to go into why, but I, I'm sure it's, it's fairly straightforward how. I mean, the clue is what I'm filming with. Anyway, um, so um, the live system is something I'm going to cover more more detail later on. But anyway, so I want to talk. Oh, here we go. Look, live system. Now, you may well have seen so seen this video. So if you look, you can see that. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. So basically, I've got my I've got my six cameras around, and it's 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 it's, it's actually, I do go on a bit about it being seventy five frames a second, and it it does actually run very very quickly. Um, so I'm quite. I'm, I'm going to come back to that and do do some more work on that. Which will also ultimately the problem I've got at the moment is that the um, Auto Pano software, which is absolutely fantastic, um, the non GPU one's not even worth bothering with, to, in my my opinion, um, because it's well, it's 15 times faster on the um, the GPU version, which is much nicer. Let me show him up. Um, which is much nicer. I, I was going to show you the software working, but unfortunately, the, this recording software is not picking up all of the the the, um, the windows, so it wasn't working too well. Um, but yeah, so the the, the auto pano is twice the price, more or less twice the price of my rig now, um, which is kind of disappointing. Anyway, so live one's really cool. 
um so that that's the main thing so let's let's go back so let's put this picture back up what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a little bit of details about the cam the, the camera rig i built um on this little camera so let me just switch i hope i find the right one yeah there we go right so as you can see now this this at the actual frame uh, i kind of made a mess if you can spot it yeah um i got the the mounting hole so the camera's wrong so there's a new version being made uh being printed at the moment um but it, it works it still works um and it, it's quite impressive it mounts on the top of just a normal um rack i've got this little adapter in the middle to to uh, make it a bit easier and push it up a bit and you'll notice i've got my usb cables so someone did ask me um about the usb cables um do can you run the power with it and still use it well the answer is yes so you can leave this thing connected so if you if we come down to the bottom here which I don't know if you can see just underneath here there's a, a little tiny skinny little usb hub um, which everything plugs into and you can plug that into a mains uh when you're running the system um which, which is to be honest quite good so um yeah it's, it's quite nice um let me just go back go back to this right so what i'm doing at the moment is uh for the time being i don't intend making any money i i, I do actually want to turn this into a product um but i, I want to offer a nice rounded solution um and uh so for the meantime i've decided to um this model once i've done the final test i'm going to make it available for the cost of printing um so this uh frame costs 64 pounds on shapeways um i don't know if any of you have used shapeways but let me just uh show you the let me show you my models uh, and just to prove that the um i this is what i i am doing what i say uh if i open this up and go to click on the black so basically what i'm doing is th this is the model and you can see at the top the price 6482 that's the printing cost i'm going to make this available in my store um which uh, at the moment has the the other the other mounts but I, I don't recommend you buy that unless you really want to play with um the, the live stuff i'm going to do um but this is going to be available uh fairly soon probably about 10 days 10 12 days as soon as i get the final version and test it um that will then allow you to build a very low cost uh camera system so let me just show you another so i should have actually preloaded these i do apologize um right let's go Xiaomi. now just to show you how cheap these things are because i want people using these um okay so there you see 64 dollars it will change in a second hopefully to 42 pounds so you can see 64 dollars um for some reason it's not changing yes it doesn't want to do it. anyway but sometimes it should have changed to um 42 pounds that's shipped so um five and m you know how much does that cost in pounds oh, sorry six um in pounds it's, it's you know six fours of 24 about 250 pounds um, so if you add on to that the frame, uh, you've got yourself a really cheap little rig. Now, I, I, I at some point, um, I will offer a product, which will be a bit more expensive, obviously. But at the moment, it's just a frame. Um, I'm just hopefully people can make use of this and get their costs down. Can't do much about the um, software. Autopano is obviously still the best software out there. Um, there is a, a PT Guri and another couple. Uh, I actually I've tried both. And I prefer Autopano. Um, but it is 600 pounds um which or 950 dollars or 850 euros it's, which is a hell of a lot of money i'm hoping as um, these these lower cost cameras come that they will reduce the price perhaps the non-gpu one could be a hundred pound introduction that seems fair to me because the gpu one's about 15 16 times faster and it's actually really usable um so i actually really like it um but uh, anyway, so um, the camera's there now. I suppose maybe what you want to see is actually see it working. Um, I've got this up on. You'll notice I still haven't bought Autopano. I will be, um, but I'm still practicing. I, I think because I've just experimented hardware, I haven't bought the software yet. So uh, you can see I'm being a bit, a bit cheeky. Um, but you can see that the, it, now this doesn't show you the f the full quality of the video. To to be fair, uh, let me just start this up. Quite a decent video. 
okay there you go so it the my stitching's not perfect um because i've just started with this um but you can see it's you know it, it's it's pretty good there's a, there's a couple of errors in the stitching um but as you can see if we look down i've got i've got quite a big the camera stand stands out obviously quite a bit um but uh it's you know you if you want to use a more discreet camera stand feel free i mean it's just a standard camera mount um so give that a go um i will be putting some more um bits and pieces in fact actually if you hang on one second okay so let me just show you this i'm just going to switch over cameras so i can show you something a bit kind of interesting right so um what is this so this is um this is a mount uh that will put be able to stick the cameras this camera onto anything uh it's a suction mount um uh it's it's actually only 35 pound but it's surprisingly strong now it's admittedly plastic but the, I suppose the key thing to bear in mind with this is that um, it, it, if it does fly down a road and crash, it's only 250 pounds worth of cameras, which is still quite a lot of money, um, but it's a lot better than a couple of thousand pound kit. So um, this this is actually really good. Uh, I've actually stuck it to my bonnet of my car. Um, I, my only thing is, I, I think it might it might vibrate a little bit, but this is what we've got to find out, see if it shakes, if it shakes too much when you're driving. But um, I did put it on the car, see what it's like um and uh let's, let's switch back yeah so um i I'll, I'll see about maybe um putting this on um on my car uh and see what happens so uh hopefully um this has convinced people that yes this this does this is happening it is it does exist you can use um the system you can see that you can see that nice um <laughs> nice bit of stitching error there um I, I, I will correct the stitching errors, don't, don't worry, but um, there's there's plenty of overlap uh, and I, I'm really pleased with it, so um, shut up, you're boring me. I'm actually very pleased with it, um, I'm going to continue playing with this and ho hopefully um, in about 10 days do an update and I'll show you the final version and perhaps um, other people want to give it a go as well and um, oh, I suppose you want to know specifications. Um, so you set the um you uh, obviously make it clear but you need to set the the jammies for 12 9, 1280 by 960 which is a 4.3 um this is a 60 frames a second now for some people out there we go ah it's too low resolution it's way too low I, i'm sorry i disagree um the uh i run 30 i get 3780 by 1880 resolution and it's it's a uh, it's above the resolution of my DK2. Um, yes, uh, and also if I run it because it runs at 60 frames a second, I have to cut it back to 30 frames a second because my um, my Samsung Note 4 can't play it. Um, the um, my even my, my desktop PC struggles to play um, this 60 frames a second video. High, you know, it's, it's pretty much UHD video struggles to play it. So. Um, I think for now, I think um, it, it's more than good enough, uh, and, uh, you know, at, at the cost of pretty much one GoPro, so uh, just over one GoPro. So, um, so this rig, uh, let me just go back and show you, give it, just tell you what it costs. So basically, two hundred fifty pounds worth of cameras, sixty eight pound for the um, the mount, which um, will be on Shapeways soon. Uh, this stand, oh, it's twenty quid. 20 quid for the stand uh, get good quality cables these are really really good quality cables they're about two three pound each six of them and 10 pound 10 15 pound for a USB hub which I just strap onto it um, I don't know 400 quid for a complete system with a stand and everything uh, and then of course you got the um, unfortunately you got the 600 pound software <laughs> I can't do much about that um, I'm about to spend it as well but it you know it is great software um and uh so i i i will be buying it but um i'm hoping that i can get um some some someone to uh 
uh, give me give me some work, some sort of like part time work. Well, I get a full time job, so I can buy this software anyway. But um, something to cover the cost of it, basically. And also, if you if when you go to the um, when you order it on Shapeways, there will be a um, a PayPal donation thing to help towards the kit. So um, if you do buy it, you know, just drop a code, drop some beer money or something for that. You know, do whatever. Anyway, hopefully that's gonna that's all helped, and I hope it's piqued your interest a bit. And um, uh, talk to you another time. Thanks very much.